Welcome back to Silent Threat Reborn here on Paladin Gaming. We are going into the 15th mission of the campaign. With the material and information obtained from the capture of the Repulse, our counterintelligence agents have finally determined the origin and extent of the rebellion. The discovery is deeply troubling. Rogue activity within the GTI is not confined to the research and development branch, but involves officers in the highest echelon of the intelligence directorate. Oh boy. Effective immediately, the GTA has terminated all support of GTI operations and declared an open state of war against the organization. All forces loyal to the GTA, including the Soyakaze and the remnants of the intelligence and special ops fleets, have been reintegrated into the main GTA battle group. Because of the technology and sensitive information within its grasp, the GTI poses a significant threat to the stability and security of the GTA, the PVE, and all allied worlds. GTI's assets include, in addition to the ship and weapon prototypes developed by R&D, the top military scientists and strategic planners in the GTA. They are not to be underestimated. Against the GTI, our most effective weapon will be the numerical superiority of the combined GTA and PVE fleets. Our actions must be swift and decisive. Our tactical situation will be greatly improved by the latest discovery from the Soyakose's personnel. Analysis of the GTF Loki has enabled our engineers to identify a design flaw in the Loki structural composition. Oh, good. This flaw renders the Loki stealth technology effectively useless, as a simple reconfiguration of sensor parameters allows the Loki to be targeted by any of our ships. All sensor systems in the GTA and PVE fleets have been upgraded with this new information. Oh, good. They're getting annoying. Command has disclosed the location of the GTI's base of operations, the Jotunheim installation in the Beta Aquilae system. The existence and location of this installation were, until now, classified at the highest level. Our analysts believe that the majority of the rebel leadership and infrastructure are concentrated at this base. If we are to have any chance of stopping the GTI, Jotunheim must be destroyed. The GTA will launch an immediate, all-out offensive to take out the installation and its surrounding defenses. Report to your wing stations for your specific briefings. Alright, well, let's uh, report to our wing station for our specific briefing. The Soyakaze has been ordered to destroy the Jotunheim, GTI's base of operations in Bader Aquile. GTI conducts their most secret operations, including xenobiological research and engineering, at this facility. We believe the GTI has been studying Shivan technology and physiology here since first contact. This operation will be performed in conjunction with the GTD Intrepid and the PVD Vanguard. While the Terran and Vesudan fleets engage enemy targets throughout Bader Aquilae, our pilots will conduct a strike against Jodenheim itself. A massive coordinated assault on several fronts should overwhelm the GTI forces in this system and significantly improve our odds against the installation. Our assault on Jodenheim will proceed in two phases. In the first phase, Alpha and Beta will engage and destroy the installation's fighter complement. Command estimates that Jotunheim will be able to deploy at least six full wings, so their defensive screen must be neutralized before our bombers arrive. So two Leviathans. In the second phase, Zader and Omicron will jump in and attack the installation's cruiser fortifications. Once the cruisers are down, they will target and destroy the Jotunheim. Alpha and Beta will remain on station to provide cover. Because of the shortage of bombers on board the Soyakaze, Zeta and Omicron wings will be supplied by the Intrepid and the Vanguard, respectively. These pilots are veterans of the Great War with the Shivans and the 14-year war between our species, and have already seen action against the GTI on several fronts. They are more than qualified to assist you on this mission. Veterans of the... If you need additional fighter support during any part of the mission, Gamma Wing will be available as reinforcement. Command will also deploy Delta and Epsilon at their discretion if the need arises. 
We have only a limited tactical profile of the installation, so be prepared to engage exotic prototypes with unknown capabilities. You are authorized to destroy any GTI vessel that interferes with your mission objectives. However, your primary objective is to eliminate the Jotunheim. All other targets are secondary. Good luck, pilots. All other targets, huh? So, primary, we have to destroy the Jotunheim installation, and secondary, we have to destroy its fighters and the cruiser screen. So, we are flying Hercs. Beta on Ulysses and Gamma also on Hercules. So, we got pretty standard anti fighter loadout Prometheus and Banshee, interceptors and points. The Ulysses has Prometheus and it looks like an Avenger. Because it actually can't mount the Banshee. Huh. And Gamma also has Prometheus and Avenger. Fascinating. Alright, well. Uh, if we if it turns out we need to help with the cruisers uh, uh, or the installation, I'll come back and swap for uh, so those boys. But uh, we'll try it on default first. Installation Jotunheim. Your order to power down and surrender. Negative, Command. We no longer recognize the GTA's authority in this system. If you do not break off your attack, we will open fire. Very well. Pilots, begin your attack. What are you guys doing? Heads up! We have company!
has arrived. Kind of calling. Freely. Look at your old treasures, hollow, and 
Allied forces, the cavalry has arrived. The Gladiator, Minotaur, Macross and Catenan stand ready to assist. Bringing full turret barrage to bear on the Jodanite. Rearming complete, sir. Oh, good. Jotunheim has been destroyed, and with it, most of the GTI's weapon prototypes and technological research. Unfortunately, our attempt to decapitate the GTI leadership failed, as some of the officers aboard the installation were able to escape its destruction and evade capture. Worse, the insurgents have a new superweapon at their disposal. The vessel that retrieved the Jotunheim's escape pods is a juggernaut of incredible proportions, capable of annihilating one of our cruisers in a single shot. Firepower of this magnitude has heretofore been seen only on the SD Lucifer. Reconnaissance wings have already been scrambled to track and identify this new class of ship. Admiral Tess has informed me that our squadron may be called up to attack the Super Destroyer at any time. Dismiss. Yes, there's more. Keep playing. <laughs> because in the original Silent Threat, um, Secrets Revealed, in this case Secrets Reborn, was the end of the mission, the uh, the end of the campaign. The Hades jumps in at the destruction of the Jotunheim and it just hangs out until you kill it. Like this, it's scramble bombers, and you kill it right there and that's the end of the campaign. But not so in Silent Threat Reborn. 20 total kills and one assist. Two Ulysses, two Valkyries, ten Lokis, three containers. I got the, I got one, huh? They must not have very many hit points. 
uh, one Polaris extension and two Cerberus sentry guns. Alright, so that is that. And we will see you for the next mission.